I'm Daphne Quay, your boss lady realtor here in Central Texas. And today we are doing the top eight Instagrammable spots in San Antonio. Uh -oh. Please watch this video till the end because we have a surprise. I, I personally think this is like one of the best spots in San Antonio for Instagram because it's like one wonderful place with so many things and it's like historical and beautiful and I've said too much. Just watch. Also, before I get going, please make sure to click that notification button and subscribe to my channel so you get notified every time I do videos like this one. I do videos about Central Texas neighborhoods, things to do in Central Texas, and state of the market, and so on. So if you wanna stay updated, you wanna know what's going on in Central Texas, Austin and San Antonio in particular, make sure to subscribe and like this video. I have eight spots that I personally really like. Before I begin, I want to say, I am very aware that San Antonio is very large. There is a lot of history. There is a lot of culture and texture. And honestly, these eight spots really don't do the entire city justice. I could probably do a video of like 24 good places in San Antonio. This is just a starting point. One of my top favorite spots here in San Antonio for just driving, walking, or photoing is the King William Historic District. It's this beautiful neighborhood full of historic homes that have been beautifully maintained. Some of them have been restored and there's just so much variety here and so much history. It's like dripping with stories and intrigue and it's absolutely gorgeous. Let's take a look, let's see what these Super impressive homes are all about what this neighborhood has to offer for, for your knowledge, your heart, and your Instagram. Spot number two is the Japanese Tea Garden. So I just looked this up and it's actually 199 acres of land that was donated to the city of San Antonio. And um, basically it's, it's a Japanese garden. Um, I suppose you could have tea there. I've never seen anybody drinking tea there, but you, you can. It's super pretty. It's beautifully manicured. It's stunningly landscaped, and it really feels like you are in a super zen Japanese garden. There's a bunch of plants that are native to Japan, and it's just a really comfortable escape, and photos there are just gorgeous by default because the entire garden is stunning. Spot number three is, <laughs> this is so overdone, so don't hate me you guys, but I'm going to do this. It's the Alamo. So the Alamo is just Right, right next to the river walk on a very touristy street, but the actual structure of the Alamo is actually really, it's cool. It's not, it's not nearly as big as I think a lot of times people would imagine it to be, considering that it's supposed to be like a fort, right, for, for battle. Um, but it's historic. There's of course a lot of history there, lots of culture behind it, and it is really cool. And you can get some beautiful photos there. Also, if you are able to get in when they are open, there is like a, an event center, so to speak, inside where they have a garden. Um, I believe they have a restaurant there. I haven't been inside of it in a very long time and definitely not during COVID. Uh, but the inside of the Alamo is absolutely gorgeous as well. Very elegant. Spot number three is the Virgin Mary Mosaic, which is located on the west side of San Antonio. Oh, it's, it's called the west side. I would recommend going there during the day. It's probably gonna be more comfortable for everybody. What's really cool about this, it looks like, I believe in Spanish they're called veladoras, which basically means candle. Uh, but yeah, it's this candle, it's a replica of a candle that's the height of the building that it is next to. And it's it's just super, super cool and it's huge. It's I think it's the largest one that there is like anywhere in the world. So if you happen to be in the area and you wanna check it out, I recommend going here. Again, try to go during the day before the sun goes down. I think it's probably gonna be a little safer, but really cool, lots of colors, super cultural, and just 
awesome overall. So while we're on the topic of religion and things that are saint, spot number four is the San Fernando Cathedral. The cathedral was founded in 1731 and it is the oldest operating church in all of Texas. And it kind of makes me wonder if it's not like the oldest one in the South in general, because that's, that's super old. The architecture at the cathedral is absolutely stunning. Of course, it's super old fashioned. It's got really high ceilings, beautiful peaks, really great detailing all around. It's, 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 it's breathtaking. Spot number three is Casa Rio on the Riverwalk. Casa Rio means river house. It's just a really cute little restaurant. And what makes it extra cute, in my opinion, is that it's got these adorable multicolored umbrellas where you can sit under. So if it's sunny, you sit under the colorful umbrellas. I've seen a lot of people get photos from across the Riverwalk. So they have a photo of them on this side of the Riverwalk and then the umbrellas are over here and it's a very colorful photo. So since we're talking about the Riverwalk in that area in general, that brings me to spot number two, which is La Villita Historic Village, which is basically exactly what it sounds like. It's a little tiny village with little old historic buildings right off of the Riverwalk. You go up a set of stairs and then like basically you're there. Um, there's a couple restaurants there and there's a bunch of little boutique-y type stores where you can buy jewelry and home decor things. More than anything, it's just very historical looking and it's very antique -y feeling and it's, it's really cute. It is pretty small though. It's not, I mean, it's not one of these things like developments that spreads way out. It's very contained and it's super easy to navigate. And finally, I'm going to share with you my absolute favorite spot in San Antonio, not just for Instagrammable photos, but just to like hang out. This place is so, oh, before I tell you my favorite place to get Instagram photos in San Antonio, please make sure to hit that subscribe button, notification button, and to like my video. It really helps me out. So ladies and gentlemen, I love the historic Pearl Brewery. It was an actual brewery from 1883 up until the year 2001. Random. The area wasn't a particularly good part of town, so it got kind of run down and then nobody really did anything with it for a while. So it was just kind of hanging out there. And then it was recently restored and it became this absolutely beautiful, luxury, high-end village to hang out at. The actual brewery is still there and it has been completely redone. The way that the Pearl is set up is that you go in, there's a bunch of restaurants kind of on the perimeter. There's a bunch of cute little shops. There's a couple coffee shops as well. And then right in the middle, there's a park where you can hang out. Now, before I continue, I, I do wanna say and acknowledge that there's a lot of other nuances about the Pearl that I'm gonna leave out because I could literally spend an entire day there. I should probably just end up doing a video about the Pearl on itself, but Basically, there's a ton of stuff to do. It's absolutely stunning. And they've got so many attractions that make it popular and entertaining and really good for photos. One of my favorite places there is the Hotel Emma, which is basically, it's a hotel, right? It's got 180 rooms, I believe. And it was an older building that was completely redone. Even if you're not staying there, I highly recommend you go to the coffee shop or the or the restaurants there. It's got this really cool kind of New York-y vibe to it, like antique New York and steampunk style to it. It's done absolutely beautifully. It's very stylish, super classy, and really fun. This year, I took my mom to the Pearl's Farmer's Market for Mother's Day. They have this really cute empanada stand. They have a really cute um, like little vendor that sells honey, vendors that sell all sorts of goods. And there's a ton of people that go there. Lots of families go there. You also find a lot of dogs there. It's very dog friendly. And everybody's in a really good mood. It's a very happy place to be and it's just super comfortable and beautiful. So you can get photos next to the historic buildings. Uh, there's a couple like fun like art structures that are just kind of randomly there, but they're really beautiful. There's this big fountain, big like 
rusted out metal fountain that's like three tiers in the middle. There's a beautiful garden. Like I said, I could literally go on and I'll, I'll make another video just on the pearl itself. But my top spot for things to do and Instagrammable spaces in San Antonio is definitely the historical pearl. So those are my top eight picks for Instagrammable spaces or spots in San Antonio. Like I said at the very beginning of this video, San Antonio is so full of culture and color and texture and history. These eight really do not do the city justice, but it's a starting point. If you have suggestions, if you have questions, if you wanna know more about San Antonio, please leave a message. Feel free to reach out. You can call me, text me, email me, Instagram, DM, whatever works for you. If you're thinking about buying or selling a home in Central Texas, I got you. Again, this is Daphne Quaid, your boss lady realtor.